Hello Libra, I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do a general reading here for the rest of April. So this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus using Celtic Crow Spread for the rest of April. What are the messages for Libra? What does Libra need to know? One more and we will start for Libra, please. Rest of April. Wow, the sun and the two of swords. So if you have been, two of swords, by the way, is moon in Libra. If you have been uncertain here at crossroads with the sun, it looks like there's going to be here some kind of things out uh, a purpose. You're going to see clarity, You're going to be able to see things through. We do have the eight of swords. So that means that again, that entrapment Ooh, and the three of swords. Okay, so you are going to get out of that painful situation, Libra. Let's see. Ace of Cups, a new love, a new opportunity. Overall is the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so we're talking about a gift, a token here. Financially, if you have been waiting for something, this is a good card to see. But also when we're talking here about someone, even a relationship, it can mean that it's starting to go steady. It is the initial stage here. What is helping or hindering? Okay, so we are getting the Knight of Cups. We are talking about actions towards love. Now, because I see these two mostly here when it comes to the pentacles, as I mentioned about security, I do feel like you or someone else here is offering something. And it's not just something stable here, but also it's very emotional. The Knight of Cups is my proposal card. This is the Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. It doesn't have to be, but it's someone that is going with their feeling. So I feel like a generous offer. That's what I'm, I'm getting with this combination here. Also, uh, again, whoever is coming here through very cautious, they do have feelings. Maybe they have a hard, have a hard time opening up, but they definitely have feelings. Okay, so this is coming because here at the foundation, subconsciously here, someone feels that there's a missed opportunity. Uh, moon in Cancer energy with this one. I, I, this person is not sure how they feel. And I say this, it may be them or you in this regard. Remember the two of swords, because they're not looking up that there's actually someone that is offering this cup. They are too much, uh, you know, in their own mind or in their own feelings, feeling even kind of sorry for themselves or depressed type of situation. Feeling maybe again, they missed this, this offer here. And I feel like this is what's coming. If you have been like this, that, okay, you know, things are not going to happen uh, very much up and down. I'm not sure if this person is still interesting or if this situation is still happening. It is happening. In the past, the high priestess, your intuition has been right here. Now with the high priestess, we are talking about secrets. Also, we are talking about kind of someone's emotions here, not being out in the open. The high priestess, though she is very knowledgeable, she's not someone here that actually is ready to open up. This can be the unavailable person as well here, but definitely that that's that intuition telepathically connecting here with someone. All right, so what's crowning the situation is the seven of pentacles. So I feel like someone is trying to figure out here how much more they will invest putting work, waiting. I see both of this is a kind of a waiting situation here, guys. Um, Jupiter in Taurus, and then we have Moon in Cancer with these two cards. <clears throat> it is about long-term investment. It's about just being patient and waiting what's going to turn out, what's going to happen here. Because remember, in the past, you have been able to know what's going on, even if you have not been open to, exp uh, to you know, kind of telling it like it is expanding that knowledge, opening up, just keeping it to yourself. I feel like you have been keeping this emotion to yourself here. Because we have Jupiter still, we are talking about something as, uh, as I mentioned, being expanding your feelings here, uh, generosity, going here with kind of the optimism that things are going to turn in your way, or finally things are going to be working out. I'm going to be rewarded with whatever I've been invested, whatever that inner knowledge, inner knowing has been here in the past. So what is coming through here? The Eight of Cups. Okay, so this tells me that someone here feeling that they need to let go of any disappointments and go after that wish fulfillment. 
this is I'm going to seek my own desire here I'm going to find my own purpose now it is not an easy energy with the eight of cups because it does require that someone leaves certain options behind can be a little bit here of an emotional withdrawal here just you know to seek your own happiness so we will see when we clarify what's going on what's going to be your attitude here Libra and remember this is for the rest of April Queen of Pentacles okay with the Queen of Pentacles you are going to be very grounded it may be the Sun in Taurus right now that we have Mercury is going to be in Taurus as well here by next week but with the Queen of Pentacles I feel like you taking care of yourself of your finances being grounded a very type of um, I need to take care of my financial situation focusing here also on your pentacle on your money and on your security here uh, this is overall the vibe that you're going to have very stable energy Ooh, okay so external to you someone here is avoiding the connection or they're not being entirely honest i do see the seven of swords also as someone trying to uh, run here or pretend we will see when we clarify moon in aquarius there's someone that this self-deception as well with with a seven of swords seven seven here two number sevens very mystical number okay so you have the five of swords in your hopes and fears <sighs> if there's someone here that is offering you something you are having a hard time with the five of swords i see it here as obstacles defeat mind games type of situation can even be guilt we have it's interesting we have moon in aquarius and venus in aquarius here you are having a hard time regarding this offer this token here the gift wow okay but the long term here the best possible outcome long term is the ace of wands and this is that passionate uh, type of energy here a new beginning a new passion so again you are going after this ace of wands you are going after this passion uh, for some of you it can be good news regarding work it doesn't have to be just about love here definitely it's a positive outcome for you guys it looks like in the end there's going to be that new passionate beginning very about a, a new adventure starting something new i want to clarify before we go any further let's see what does libra sun moon rising and venus need to know here what's going on we will clarify to get a specific idea what is that ace of wands and what's going on with eight of cups here i want to clarify for libra sun moon rising and venus look this this four of cups keeps coming here someone is very unhappy feel like they're stuck in an unhappy situation one more the king of pentacles and seven of swords the king of pentacles here is not being very honest or he's trying to avoid something he may be avoiding this passion this is someone from the past six, six of cups is also sun in scorpio i have all the signs here so it doesn't really matter uh I feel like it's memories or someone from the past that is coming in all right so what is the page of uh, pentacles here wow the will of fortune so this is the overall situation no matter what's happening this week this is what you are going to decide i think financially as well things are going to turn around but someone wants uh, to offer you uh, this type of gift or even when it comes to communication here because we're dealing with uh, a page with the will of fortune it is all about changing uh, the status changing the fate feeling that it's time about a change here it's it's i feel like it's good fortune for you guys that's what i am looking with uh, this overall situation just good fortune going with the flow wow the king of swords and the knight of cups so such a interesting combination that's why i said this person has a hard time when it comes to proposing or when it comes to letting his feelings out in the open here it's very detached the king of swords is very analytical there's love here there's emotions actions toward love but i feel like because of this combination the king of swords is having a hard time expressing himself 
All right, so at the foundation of this, some of you may be dealing with one, more than one person. It doesn't have to be though. We all can be each of this element here. Now at the foundation, the King of Wands has been unsatisfied, unhappy, still lingering to, to that cup from the past, to that emotion from the past. Wow, okay. Justice, Libra energy, which very much can be you. Remember the high priestess that I said she had the secret knowledge. Both of these are very about doing the right thing, following the intuition, karmic laws here, the universal laws. But I see that in the past, someone has been intuitively waiting for the right time, doing the right thing. Again, you may have kept that to yourself, whatever that inner knowledge that you had. But you are coming here as someone that is very fair. All right, so let's see, what is this, uh, the Seven of Pentacles here? Oh my goodness, the Three of Swords is coming back again. I feel like you're trying to heal and trying to wait for some of you regarding a separation. It can be a divorce here with that uh, Justice card. But uh, that's what you're trying to figure out here. I feel like waiting when it comes to a third party situation for some of you, but also healing. How much can you dedicate to something also here that has not been fulfilling? I feel like a heartbreak here that you have been holding on for some time and it's you feel like this is a situation that it will require your time it's all about time to, to heal the scars here oh my goodness the devil i would say be careful libra because you may go in cycles here as this offer is coming towards you and someone here, again, is having a hard time, you or them, opening up, I feel like you may be stuck, you or someone else that is coming towards you, they're still st stuck on, on this obsession, on this desire, on a certain codependency. I feel like someone cannot ex escape this. I don't see this combination as uh, someone being able to escape the, the, the want, the desire, the lust, the codependency for some of you. Yeah, you see, you are worried here about your financial, your security, the moon, the, the moon in Cancer or Four of Cups that we have. You have someone in your mind that you desire, but you can't. Your focus right now is on yourself and on your security. Hmm. Yeah, this if this person, if this for the ones here regarding this situation, they have not left. I don't see the six of swords and the seven of swords as moving on. They may be pretending here. They may be kind of it's a ghosting period, but I don't see as movement. Someone is still very much here holding back, not saying much. They're trying to find ways here to get out of this conflict. If there's been a lot of heartbreak here, hidden motives, um, even deception. I don't think this person is just pretending. I don't, I don't see it as uh, moving on. You do have the five of swords here in your emotions. Okay, so you are ready to leave conflict behind. But I have to tell you, it's a trust issue here uh, in this situation with this combination. Do I take a leap of faith? Will I get hurt again? There's, uh, again, hidden motives here. There's been blame and guilt. And this is what you're questioning. If whatever that offer, we have to keep that offer that is coming towards you, whatever that message, that knowledge. How, how are you going to, to start when in your emotions you are having a hard time? Allowing this new beginning, allowing uh, someone here to come and offer you even help, financial help here, change, uh, you know, your whole kind of status or your routine here. You are afraid that something is not completely over in this situation or you may get hurt again. So the best possible outcome, the long term, is the hermit. Okay, so someone has to go with their passion. If there's been a lot of isolation here, I feel like someone is ready here to come out from the hermit mode here. They're starting to kind of let their instinct that initial passion it is an ace and it's a potential and it's a beginning but he's saying that there's going to be um, someone that is finally coming out of that isolation excitement 
this is what is currently here a new excitement a new beginning again this is very immediate what is approaching you so i will say to get out of this toxic situation or again to try to let go of any situation called dependency here just let anything uh even addictions for some of you with with uh, whatever type of addiction it can be of the mind it can be anything it's just letting go of certain things that have not worked out in order for you to again to allow this ace of wands to come through this new beginning this new passion Okay, Libra, that was your reading for the rest of April. I hope it does resonate with you guys. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.